Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs and I'm a content developer within education services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the GRE tunnels with SRX Learning Byte. And here is our example. In this example, first I want to talk about the topology. In this topology, we have two devices that we will be working with today. We have VSRX1 and VSRX2. Now VSRX1 and VSRX2 both connect to the internet using interface Gigi001. Then VSRX1 connects to user1 with interface Gigi000, and VSRX2 connects to server1 with interface Gigi000. And so what we need to do with this example is we need to ensure communication can happen between user1 and server1. And to facilitate that, we're going to create a GRE tunnel. And that GRE tunnel is going to connect VSRX1 and VSRX2 together. And then we'll route user1 traffic through that GRE tunnel so it can reach server1. So user1 will be able to communicate with server1 through the GRE tunnel. So with that, let's go ahead and jump to the CLI and get this started. All right, here is the CLI. We have VSRX1 that we'll be working with, VSRX2 as well. And then there is the VSRX VR device. And this device is kind of special. This device is split up into multiple virtual routers. And these virtual routers will simulate the devices of user1 and server1. So let's get started on VSRX1. And first, let's go ahead and configure the GR. 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface, which is used for the GRE tunnel. So to begin, we need to set the tunnel source, which in this case is going to be 10.111.113.0. And that is the IP address that is assigned to VSRX1's Gigi001 interface. And recall the Gigi001 interface points towards the internet. And then we specify the destination, and that's going to be 10.111.113. Dot two, and that is the IP address that is associated with the Gigi001 interface for VSRX2. And recall that interface points towards the internet for VSRX2. And then let's go ahead and configure the address, the family INET address for the tunnel. And you can see the configuration here. We have the tunnel source and destination configured, as well as an IPv4 address that we're applying to this tunnel endpoint. So when we configure the other side on VSRX2, the tunnel parameters will be reversed, and it will also receive an IPv4 address that is on the same subnet as this IPv4 address. So next, let's go ahead and configure a security zone and put that GR interface in the security zone. And then let's configure a security policy that will allow traffic from the user zone to the tunnel zone. Source it from the user zone and then send it to or allow it to the tunnel zone. Specify a source address of any, same with the destination address, as well as the application. To delete that AN application I accidentally placed in there. Then permit the traffic. And then the last thing we need to do is direct traffic that is sent to the server one device into the GR tunnel. We can do that with a static route. Specify a next hop of the GR interface. And then commit the configuration. Now we need to configure VSRX2 as well. Configure the GR interface. And again, this is just a mirror of what we configured on the other side. Specify an IP address that is within the same subnet that we specified on VSRX1 for the GR interface. And then again, we need to go to the security zone, specify a security zone 
that has the GR interface. You specify a security policy as well. Now keep in mind the traffic will be coming from the tunnel zone to the server's zone, so we need to configure that appropriately. Specify a source address of any, as well as the destination address of any, and an application of any. Permit the traffic. You can see the security policy there. And then the last thing, specify a static route that will send the return traffic from server one to user one through the GR tunnel. And commit the configuration. So now let's go to the VSRX VR device and send some traffic from user one to server one. And this is great. We can see that the traffic is flowing from user one to server one correctly. So let's go ahead and jump back to user one and look at the session table. We'll look for ICMP traffic. And we can see here traffic is going into the Gigi000 interface. And recall that's the interface that is pointed towards user one. And then return traffic is coming in on the GR000 interface. And so that's exactly what we want to see. So let's go ahead and jump to VSRX2 and look at the same output. And we'll see the reverse here. And this is what we want to see. We can see traffic is coming in on the GR interface and then return traffic is coming back in on the Gigi000 interface, which recall the Gigi000 interface is pointed towards the server one device. So that brings us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we configured and verified GRE tunnels with SRX series devices. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.